Merci. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I have a, a, a shorter English version, which I will uh, I would like to read. Uh, and I read I read it again in the as if Lucy uh, is is reading it. Uh, Marshall, my father, you may have gone for a long time now, but you are not forgotten. The story begins in the middle of June 1970. We are three persons in my little family. My father, Marshall, is a union director for Local 333 of the Bakery and Confectionery Workers of America. As a young man, my dad was in the army also, so his ways were a bit military at times. My mother, Therese, worked part-time for the Library of Montreal, and she's a housekeeper for the rest. She has a good temperament, calm, and laughing. And there's Lucy, I'm 16 years old, a terrific teenager. <laughs> I love the Beatles and I'm a student, uh, but for that summer I have a job, and I'm very happy for that. You know, making money is pretty sharp. In the middle of June, Papa was invited to Los Angeles for business. Often when my dad made a trip to a beautiful place, he would invite my mother to join him. But my mother doesn't know what to do, she would like very much to make the trip with Dad to California, but I have to stay in Montreal for my new summer job, so she hesitated. If she goes with her husband, I have to go for two weeks to my aunt's place, and she knows that I hate that. <laughs> One week before the trip, my dad said to my mother, Therese, my, to my mother, Therese, you have to make a decision. Are you going with, with me, or do you stay at home with Lucy? I looked at my mother and said, oh, Mom, don't go with Dad. I don't like to stay with my aunt. And my mother answers, you know, Lucy, if I don't go with your dad, maybe I will never make a beautiful trip like this. So with the help of my teenager egoism, I answered, well, Mom, Dad has to travel very often, and I'm sure he would have to go to California another time, so stay with me, please. Shortly after that, Dad went to buy tickets, but Air Canada did not have any seat left for July the 4th, so he took a ticket for July the 5th. Saturday the 4th, Dad was feeling good, and in the evening, Mom, my best friend Louise, Dad, and, and I met an ice, uh, met, ate an ice cream together. Uh, at about 5 o'clock in the morning, July the 5th, I woke to the sound of my dad's electric shaver. When he was ready to go, he showed, he said in my bedroom and said, I have to go, take care of your mother. And I answer, Mom, Mom, don't worry. Right after that, I heard him close the door. At around 9 o'clock, I wake up. This Sunday morning is beautiful, and I feel happy because in the afternoon my best friend Louise and I will go swimming. My mother and I listen to some music. At 11.45, Louise calls me and tells me that her mother would like to talk to mine. Louise's mother then says to my mom that she saw in the news that an Air Canada plane had crashed in the Tor at Toronto Airport. But she said, don't worry, if it had been your husband's flight, he would have received a call from Air Canada. After this call, my mother remembers that we have a cousin who works for Air Canada at the Dorval Airport, so my mom calls him. My cousin is sleeping and says he doesn't know anything about the crash. He writes down the number of my father's flight and says he'll call back in a few minutes. We waited for what seemed to us like a long time for the phone to ring. Maybe 20 minutes after that, someone knocks at the door. It's it's my cousin crying, and this time we understood. For a long time, I thought that I was a little bit responsible, that it was because of me that my father died in the crash. But if I hadn't been such a selfish teenager, my mother would have gone with my father. They would have started on the 4th of July, and my mother and my father would have had a good trip, and this terrible story wouldn't have happened. But now I know in my heart that my father forgave my selfishness because I'm a mother now. I love you, Dad, and I'm very sad when I'm thinking about this 5th of July, the day I lost you. So for all of my family, your grandchildren, my husband and me, please keep on protecting us. With all my love, your daughter, Lucy. <laughs>